Folks, this is just an intersection. But over the years, it's consumed so much attention and so much energy. It's to the point of being distracting. Barricades currently exist here at the intersection of Portage and Maine, but because of costs, the mayor is looking to reverse course and potentially put an end to the perennial debate by reopening up the intersection for pedestrians. $73 million. That's the reported price tag to repair the Portage and Maine underground walkway. It's why Mayor Scott Gillingham says despite a 2018 plebiscite, which saw voters support a revamped underground walkway over opening up the ground level for pedestrian traffic, he, along with some of his colleagues, now support the latter plan. The price for a renovated underground walkway coming from a recently released city report. The waterproof membrane that keeps the concourse dry has been failing for a number of years. Repairing the membrane would require completely tearing up Portage and Main at street level in sections and would create traffic chaos in the downtown for four to five years. According to the report, if the city decided to install crosswalks at the intersection, it would cost $10 million, an increase from the $6 million pegged back in 2017. While the mayor has the support of some on council, he hasn't won them all. Councilor Russ Wyatt crashing the mayor's press conference to share his feelings. I disagree with the members of the council who are here today, along with the mayor. I don't think the mayor has the right to undermine the voice and the will of the people. Pedestrians used to be able to cross Portage and Maine at grade till 1979. Pedestrian City News spoke with on Friday were split on whether the intersection should be reopened for pedestrians. If you had like crosswalk, it's really helpful. If you open this up, there are already a ton of accidents. There's a fire truck over there dealing with a bus that's stalled. Do you want to do this walk every single day going downstairs? Uh, no, sir. James Richardson and Sons Limited, which owns the Richardson Center at Portage and Maine, told City News in a statement that they are supportive of opening up the intersection to pedestrians. The more street level activity there is, uh, the more vibrant uh, downtown is, and it also increases safety. But the city's plan also includes potentially decommissioning the underground circus at a price tag of up to $50 million, leaving some businesses in the walkway worried about their future. There are no compensation. If it receives support, Gillingham is hoping Portage in Maine opens up for pedestrians by the summer of 2025. In Winnipeg, Edward Jan, City News.